Yo. <laughs> hey, yo, what's on YouTube? This is Edu Unboxing Official. Welcome to another episode, man. So this episode, I'm going to unbox this hair clipper. I mean, magnetic hair clipper from WMAC. With the model number NG9002. <laughs> Got 9000 RPM. It's written here. And it's really true. It's not too much fast like uh like other magnetic motor which is good and the blade won't get really too hot which is also good and here it's rating three hours charging time and 120 minutes operated time so you got five click and lever 2500 milliamp battery and got three colors so i ordered me a red one but I, would, I prefer the black one already changed to a black one and uh yo what else okay nothing else let's open it up man all right here's the clipper with the charger stand so and it's very heavy a little bit heavy So this is the clipper already. See that? Okay. And you got the manual. Okay, I changed it already. So little brush. Okay, we got many things inside. So got um four, no? Ah okay. And they are magnetic. Okay. It's not a double magnetic guard, just one. As you can see. Which is good. Okay, what is this? Uh -huh, for the hair okay they got many things inside charging cable and this is the charging stand So, this is the clipper. Got a fade blade. And the range. And a thin cutter blade also. Okay. And here you can see through. You can see inside. Just like monster clippers. Gamma Stycraft. So this is magnetic motor charging port the power button. Okay. And let's turn it on. You hear that? So the weight three twenty eight. So the decibel.
the RPM. So let's talk about this clipper. It looks really nice, really nice with the grooves that I like, you know, with the fade blade too that I like. The black color, really good. Five clicking lever. One, two, three, four, five. Five clicking lever which is good too <laughs> but it's not up to the standard this clipper is not up to the standard when I got it newly you hear that it is very loud it wasn't like that you know when when um you got thick hair, you know, from the thick hair, it got louder. I don't know why. And the uh, clicking lever, the first one, it doesn't move. You see that? It doesn't move. I got problems with some Chinese clipper with this type of clicking lever. The first one doesn't move. And you see it's a five clicking lever. So when you get to the back and when you move it, it doesn't move also. You understand? Now it's moving. But the first one, or when you are returning, it doesn't move. This is not good. So it's somehow four clicking lever, which is bad. And um, it's a little bit thick here. You see that? There is a lot of space here between this place, I mean, this place and top. A lot of space. They should have made it a little bit more, more down, you know. That's my opinion. And here. I still got this one. The clicking lever, it's really good. Believe me, really, really good. You hear the difference? I don't know why. I don't really know why it's like this. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is it. Something is not right here. I don't know. Maybe the the tension spring. I don't know. That's why it's loud. I never I never opened this place, so I didn't touch anything. I just change this face plate does it so it is loud and uh for me i recommend you not to buy this clipper that's my opinion but if you want to buy this clipper there is another alternative and this is vgr vgr got the same just VGR doesn't have a changeable face plate, just one face plate that comes with it. And it's somehow half of this price, half of the price of this one. So 
why not just buy the one of VGR instead of this one? That's my opinion. And I don't know which type of blade is on VGR, but I guess it's the same blade. I guess so. If maybe I knew VGR would bring out theirs, I wouldn't have bought the brand W Mark. Because the brand W Mark always expensive and they got the same clipper like VGR or Kevin. But I don't know why they, they are expensive. So.